Annyeonghaseyo! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia and I'm 27 years old and I'm still in Pretoria. Welcome back to episode 2 of Remembrance. I'm very excited to be filming this video and playing this game. Uh, as you saw in episode 1, the first few minutes of the video is actually quite... or of not the video, but the game is quite wordy. It is a very long exposition. But now we're going to jump into things episode 2 the second time and hopefully technical difficulties won't stop me from making this video and also hopefully I can continue where I left off. So let's get into this game. So let's click on continue. Let me just get myself ready. File 1. Oh yeah, I'm Kim. I'm the black haired girl one. White hair girl is Jessie. We know that we've died. Uh, we know that we are dead. And we basically need to switch on these lampuses, which... Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. What? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm doing. So these lamps we should sh switch on. In the end, we need to even switch on a bigger beacon of hope. And these lamps of hope to bring hope to the world and hopefully I can get a second chance at life. Well, that's what I understand. And then I got a trident to fight with, so bitch. <laughs> Bitches be ready for me. So, let's just play the game. So, this little line, why do I keep on doing that? And it's on. What does it say here? Train station is up ahead, passage to above the sky. I don't think I can return back to... Wait, a train station? There are trains here? Sorry, as I was saying, I actually don't know if I can go back. But, why go back? Let's continue. There is one. There is one. Yes. Now I need to remember what the voices are like. Okay. <laughs> the entryway from above the sky to the surface from which we exited earlier lies on the outskirts of the surface. Thus, a railway was constructed for safe and swift transportation from the outskirts into the heartland. It is in the heartland that the three towers of remembrance are located, and as such we must head there pleasantly. Presently. What? Presently. I'm slowly hearing weird things. So these lights should help me from not getting killed by monsters, but we found out that some monsters, <laughs> okay, they don't play by the rules. Is this passenger car all that's left of the train? Whatever do you mean? This carriage is the train. Really? It can move by itself? Why, yes, of course it can. It was hope lamps in its interior as the power supply. So all you need to do is activate those and we'll be able to ride it into the heartland. Huh? Hope power? That's pretty cool. It's marvelous, isn't it? What's that smell? That smell? Yeah, it smells like mold. Something stinks of mold and bile. Ugh. I don't understand your meaning at all. That's okay, it's not anything major. Yeah, that is kind of major. It. Oh, uh, this place has been abandoned for a while, right? It makes sense that it'd be a bit moldy here and there. I, 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 what's going on? Okay, um, <laughs> let's fight. Okay, what's happening? Uh, JC, use your special power of what? Positive conversion. Convert negative energy, steal HP from an enemy. <laughs> Give a reassuring hug. Ah, here's negative status. Inner stability. Calm your mind. Activates every regenerate. The tranquil miracle. Completely heal all allies outside of battle. Sustain faith. Believe in your. Oh, sustain faith. Okay, wait. Oh, a lot is happening. Sustaining faith, gentle encouragement, that's sweet. Provide gentle encouragement and yield some HP. Uh, let's convert some negative things. 
I have no idea what's going on. Okay, attack. That. Ooh. I I don't know what's going on. Instability activates. That doesn't do anything. Believe in your friends. Revitalizes and revives an ally. Gentle encouragements. Let's do that to her. Yes. Thank you. I don't. <laughs> Do, what special do I have? Reanimate J. Well, that's not gonna help me at all. Yes, attack that thing! I don't know where its health is. Um, I need something. What's wrong with me? Yeah, let's just attack it. Special. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, well, I'm losing health. But... Uh, for now, relief washes over Kim. Yeah, and me too. I didn't even finish on an experience by hand. I just... Um, Kim, are you alright? Here. I'll just heal us. Uh, uh, uh. What the fuck was that? I fucking agree. That was an enemy of hope. Well, yeah, I guess that much. But I was expecting them to look like people or animals or something, not some huge, horrible, writhing thing straight out of a nightmare. How was it still lurking around here anyway? Shouldn't the lamps we've activated literally next to them have driven it away? I do not know. Perhaps the material of the train carriages inhibited the repulsion. Or perhaps the crawler was merely trapped in the carriage. Truthfully, I've never witnessed the reactivation of any hope lamps before, so I don't fully understand their behavior in this specific context. Jesse is slightly useless. Perhaps the lamps require some time to power back up to full intensity. Again, I am unsure. Your perhapsness is unhelpful, Jesse. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need to calm down. <sighs> that was much, much worse than I was expecting. I don't think I've ever been that scared before. Kim? What? You saved my life, Jesse. That crawler caught me completely off guard. If you hadn't been here, I would have been dead for sure. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it all. Think nothing at all. Think nothing at all of it, dear. Your well-being and the completion of this mission are of paramount importance to me. Dear, that's right. You're a dear. Well, why am I a dear? Despite your fear and despite the commitment danger, concomitant. Concomitant, concomitant danger. What is that word? You interposed yourself between the enemy of hope and me during our skirmish just now. Well, it's just that you're unarmed, whereas I have a spear. No, bitch, you've got a trident. You know, I couldn't exactly just stand aside and let that thing bum rush you. Yes, and doing something so courageous and so sweet makes you a dear, dear. Surely you don't intend to deny me, the savior of your life. Okay, what is with her one as wonky eye? Oh, is she like winking at me? Is she trying to be funny? Okay, let's reread this. Surely you don't intend to deny me. The savior of your life, the right to address you however I please, do you? I think that's what she's doing. 
Not at all, not, not at all. He, 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 he. By the way, in future confrontations, feel free to ask me for information about the particular crawler that are blocking our way. Mm. One, I hear voices. And two, why would I do that? Okay, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I at least have a working knowledge of what sort of esoteric attacks we might suffer from the more common crawlers. You're welcome to ask as many times as you like, and I'll gladly tell you all that I know. Kim can now use a special skill, request information in battle. I'm on a train. I don't know actually. I'm on a boat. I'm on a train. <laughs> hey, Jesse, Jess. Hmm? What is it, dear? Are you going to keep calling me that for the rest of the mission? You'd better believe it! What's on your mind? Are you the same as me? Have you also, um, um, died? I'm afraid not. In actuality, I'm quite a bit different from you. I'm not a lingering human spirit, nor am I any sort of human being at all. You aren't? Does it truly come as that much of a surprise to you? I suppose I just hadn't given it any thought, since you look and act pretty much like any other person I've met. At least until you busted out the magical attacks and healing abilities, that is. <laughs> How can you do all of that anyway? And if you aren't human, then what exactly are you? I was created by no less than the Demiurge, Demiurge themselves. Demiurge themself, Demiurge themself, to serve by their command as a healing servant and a guardian alike to the chosen one. She is creepy with her eyes closed. It is for this purpose that I was so graciously granted my healing ability by them. That is what I am, and that is how I am able to do the things I can do. Huh? I see. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that this Demiurge who made you is one of the supreme deities you've been mentioning. Yes, that is correct. If they're powerful enough to create you, then why do they need me to go and turn the lamps and beacons on? They were all active when the Demiurge created them, right? If so, I can't imagine that the Demiurge wouldn't be able to reactivate them as well. For that matter, why are they letting these crawler monsters run amok? Why not just make them cease to exist, or banish them, or do anything at all? I guess I just don't understand why they bothered to drag me into all of this rather than using their divine power to take care of everything. I do not know. It is not my place to question the decision and actions of the Demiurge. I'm confident, however, that they have very good reasons for not intervening. Is that right? Let me guess. The Demiurge works in mysterious ways. My, what a lovely way to phrase it. I'll have to remember that. <sighs> Never mind. You know, it's odd. Hmm? What's odd? Well. This is putting aside the possibility that this is all just some incredibly vivid dream I'm having. You said I've died and with how I was feeling when I first woke up here I can definitely believe it but the thing is that I can't really remember anything like that at all. How I might have died I mean. No matter how hard I try to focus on them, my memories of what I was doing right before I woke up here are still fuzzy. It's all in bits and pieces. The last thing I can remember is, I was spending time with my friend Robert and his girlfriend, I think. I don't know, it's all so hazy. Same goes for the rest of my memories. It's like there's this thick blanket of fog covering it all up. That happens rather often with new arrivals on the surface. I believe. 
Your memory should be restored as you visit each of the three towers of remembrance. Your memory should be restored as you visit each of the three towers of remembrance, as their name suggests. Makes sense. Though, I can't shake the feeling that I blocked them out for good reason. We're here! No, where? The first tower of remembrance. Indeed. It's incredible. Something about this feels familiar. Oh, does it feel familiar to you in the same way as you tried it? It's the exact same feeling, yeah, except this time it's much stronger. Though, now that I consider it, the word familiar doesn't fully describe it. And I'm being deafened by sound. Both the... Both the form of the trident and now this side of a colossal, solitary building stretching far up above me against an overcast sky, they... They resonate with me. They resonate with you? How do you mean? It's hard to put into words, but there's something about them that feels almost overwhelmingly familiar despite being so weird and dreamlike. More familiar to me than the sight of my hands, or my face in the mirror, or hell, even my own name. It's like something very, very deep within me that's almost completely detached from the rest of who I am is resonating with this place. But again, it's such a potent feeling that I feel like familiar doesn't describe the full breadth of it. Not only are the impressions familiar, but there's the sense of longing. It feels like that deep, detached part of me wants more than anything else to return to wherever and whenever it was that I experienced those impressions. It's almost like Nostalgia. Yes, that's what it is. Nostalgia. But that doesn't make any sense. How can I possibly be nostalgic for something I've never actually done? Or for something I've never actually been and that may not even exist at all? Oh, uh, sorry about that. I got swept up in my rum and... I cannot read. Uh, sorry about that. I got swept up in my ruminations. Ruminations again. Ha! Does any of that make sense to you? I admit, it is rather difficult for me to conceptualize this feeling you've described, as I've never felt anything remotely similar to it myself. I need to change my voices. It's precisely... It's precisely for that same reason, however, that I find it to be utterly fascinating. Although I may not have any insights to offer you, I'd still very much love to hear more about the, these ethereal impressions that resonate with you, that resonate with you. Of course, before we do any of that, we should proceed into the tower and reactivate the hope beacon first. Let's do that. Let's save first. So I'm level 2, Jesse's level 2. I'm normal and Jesse is regen. So that's, she will regenerate us. Okay, so we've got quite a few save files. Sorry, I forgot to check that earlier. Okay, let's jump. Sorry. Uh, yeah. There's that moldy stench again. Kim. Huh? What is it? There will almost certainly be a large number of crawlers prowling about on the floors above this one. Yeah, exactly. Great. I mean, I had a feeling that'd be the case, but I was really hoping I'd turn a 
but I was really hoping I'd turn out to be wrong. Despite their size and distinctive appearance, crawlers are exceptionally adept at concealing their presence before they attack. <laughs> That's code for jump scare, bitches! I'm certain they'll try to ambush us, so please do your best to keep your wits about you as we ascend. I. Let's go down first. I watched Maze, the Maze Runner last night, so... Okay, there's something down there. Can I run? No. I saw something there. There's a sign on the wall there. An internal wall with the darkness that hates, that is unhindered by the inexorable, inexor inexorable fatigue of the light. The darkness that hates, huh? I wonder what that could be. Oh, <laughs> you mother fluffer! Mm, I don't want to anymore! <laughs> Can I please just take a second and breathe? <laughs> okay, let's steal a tree from the enemy. I cannot. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. I just... Okay. So let's try this information thing, but I swear, if this is gonna take my turn to have them attack me, I'm gonna fucking stab Jesse in the face. The sick leg lesser crawler, there is. Okay. But can do much more than punch and scratch at us, okay. The three legged one in the back is a lesser walker. It can hit us twice at once and is capable of inflicting transient depressive episodes. Okay, wait, where was that? Yeah, do that. Okay, so asking for hints takes away shit. Good to know. Let's attack this mother fluffer. Another, okay, let's just do that. Oh, wait, okay. I have no idea what just happened to her, but her status is still the same. Um, give her reassuring her cares thing. So there's no in. Oh, positive conversion. That's actually what I wanted to do. <coughs> oh, jeez. Okay, one is dead. Unipolar. What is happening? Convert negative energy. Okay, I know what I need to do. Oh no, that's okay. Let's just. What is wrong with her? What happens with the fend? Okay. Oh well, Jesse isn't dead, so. No! That did she. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, just attack this thing with your fucking trident. Ugh! For now, relief goes over Kim. No, fuck my life. Not just Kim. 250 experience points gained. Okay. So. So I'm gonna just like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was traumatizing and I stopped the game specifically because we're running I don't want this to
take too long, for the videos to be too long. So I stopped crying. <laughs> that was traumatizing. Um, I apologize for the amount of swearing that's going to take place in the next few episodes. Um, and I apologize also for my illiteracy that's clearly coming out now because I suck at reading. But I hope you enjoyed the second episode of Remembrance. Um, I'm quickly going to go relieve myself in so many different ways. Um, I hope you're ready for episode 3. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful evening. I hope that you're just having an amazing time. And comment if you want to say something. Did you also scare, got the shit scared out of you? Comment down below. Share. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, do what you need to do, show some support, show some love, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, let me stop blabbering now. A little bit freak out. Um, don't let fear interfere with your happiness. Oh, it's ill. Don't let fear interfere with your happiness, you deserve all the happiness in the world. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.